Wasps and other similar insects such as bees can be quite the annoying pests. In fact, last year in the summer in 2018, I was attacked by over 30 wasps for no reason. If you want to check out that video, it will be the first link in the description below. This made us wonder, why exactly do wasps attack? <laughs> The answers we found were more than just the typical don't attack the hive advice you find on the internet. In today's post, we're analyzing deeply wasp and bee behavior to determine what exactly makes them attack us. Also, we are coming out with a podcast version of our videos soon, so stay tuned in the description below to see that. Rule number zero, don't attack the hive. It should go without saying that attacking a bee or wasp hive is a very fast way to get attacked by wasps. That is their home. Imagine if someone tried to destroy your home, how would you respond? This is why wasps attack you when you try to move their hive or get too close. Unfortunately, you occasionally need to remove a hive. For example, if it's right outside your front door or on your home, you may wish to get rid of it so that why it doesn't interfere with you. In that case, it might make sense to hire experts, such as us with Wildlife Fix Team, to do the job for you. We are trained professionals that know how to safely remove wasp and beehives. However, if you do wish to do it yourself, then it's important to be 100% covered. If there is one part of your skin which is showing, the wasps or bees will find a way to sting you into oblivion. If you're covered completely, then you should be fine as long as the clothing you're wearing is thick enough so that way the bee stings and bites cannot penetrate the cloth. They still will try to sting you though, which is why it must be very thick. Now, for the hive mentality in pheromones. All wasps and other insects release chemical smells called pheromones. These smells, which we can't usually detect, allow the insects to communicate with one another. If one wasp emits a scared for its life pheromone, then the rest of, its, uh, the, rest of the wasps will feel triggered to attack you. Insects don't have rational thought, so as long as this pheromone is active, they will want to sting you. What does this mean for you? It means that if you attack or even scare one wasp, you might as well attack the whole hive. Threatening one wasp will, will trigger it to release a small smell, the pheromone, that triggers the rest of the wasps to attack you. Keeping this in mind, it is very important when it comes to dealing with wasp and bees. You can't just kill one unless there are absolutely no others around it or near it. Fun fact. You usually can't smell the pheromones, however, if a certain beehive is distressed, then it may smell like bananas because that particular beehive has pheromones which smell like bananas. So what scares the wasp? Wasps become afraid when it or its hive is threatened. Moving the hive, touching it, etc. is generally not a good idea. The same is true for dealing with even one wasp. If you swat at it, knowingly or unknowingly, it will release the fear pheromone, which triggers the rest of the wasps to attack you. If you've ever randomly been stung by a wasp, think back to what actions you were doing in that moment of time. It is highly unlikely that you were sitting, meditating on a rock. You were likely engaged in some type of physical activity and a wasp may have felt threatened by you. I know for me that one time I got stung by a wasp because I was playing with friends when I was a kid and I reached under a thing in a playground and I accidentally touched like a hive or something like that and instantly I got stung, just like that. Scaring a wasp unknowingly. Occasionally a wasp may be afraid of you without you realizing it or it could be distressed for reasons out of your control and you are just in the vicinity. In cases like these, it's always best to leave the area of wasps as soon as you possibly can. If you got stung by a wasp and you don't know why, just leave the area in case there are other wasps there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid if a wasp lands on you or is flying near you. That doesn't mean it's in an aggressive mood or wants to hurt you, however you should be careful not to scare it as this will trigger the attack. Your fear may make you more likely to move around, triggering the very attack you wish to avoid. Remember to relax, the wasp doesn't really want to hurt you. Killing usually doesn't work. Killing almost is never an effective solution for dealing with a wasp or bee problem. As mentioned earlier, you must deal with the hive, whether that means killing the queen or moving the hive. 
Again, we recommend that you hire an expert to deal with this as the problem can get messy fast. If you think you need help, make sure to give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE. And if you kill one wasp, it will not stop the onslaught of other wasps. There are a lot more wasps than you could easily kill at once or even in the course of several hours. Now finally at the end here we have some miscellaneous tips. Our research has also indicated that wearing yellow or white may attract insects to you. Insects such as wasps can't see the color red, so this may be a good color to wear while you're outside in an area which has a risk for bees or wasps. Another tip would be to not use an excessive amount of fragrance or deodorant. Remember, insects are very sensitive to smells, so this may trigger an attack. So they aren't used to these types of smells, and when you have these smells very, very strongly on you, it might kind of freak them out. Finally, avoid sugary and meat snacks with an open container, as this seems to attract wasps as well. So here's the summary. Wasps aren't inherently aggressive, but if they feel threatened by you, they will attack you. They feel threatened when you move a hive, approach a hive, swat knowingly or unknowingly at a wasp, or kill one. Odors caused by sugary and meat snacks as well as fragrance may also trigger an attack. Evidence also suggests that wearing red may prevent the occurrence of attacks if you're hanging out in a bee or wasp heavy area. Wearing yellow and white, on the other hand, might actually attract these insects to you. If a wasp lands near you, on you, or is flying near you, don't swat at it. The wasp will go away on its own, and you have nothing to be worried about. Finally, if you have a regular wasp problem or there is a hive at your home, it is highly advisable to hire experts such as us. Give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE, and we will handle the problem for you. If you wish to proceed on your own, it's very important to be very thickly covered, otherwise you will get stung a lot. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, have an absolutely fantastic day. They're out there looking for a home and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.